The final Flame War Theatre performance is brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to websites, analytics, tools, and marketing, anything to start your web presence can be found at squarespace.com. For me to review Blade 2, it is a major conflict of interest. Because Guillermo del Toro and I are brothers. His father says so. His wife believes this. Guillermo and I are just the best of friends. But when El Gordo calls my father dad, and I call his dad pops, we delve into hours, passionate discussion about H.P. Lovecraft, Goya, Steve Ditka action, the movies, and Pussy. We can lose all track of time on planet Earth. But having attended the world premiere of Blade 2 last night, one inescapable thought crossed my mind during the movie. Ten to one. I believe Guillermo del Toro eats pussy better than any man alive. Watch his House of Pain sequence in Blade 2. Blade 2 is the tongue, the mouth, the fingers, and lips of a lover. The audience is the clit. Watch your audience. This is where Guillermo del Toro goes down on the audience. It starts with long licks, with a nose bump on the joy button, slowly. <laughs> he smiles as he does this, watching the audience begin to squirm. Then he takes the audience's clit in his mouth and just licks it like crazy. <sighs> the audience is ready on that precipice. And then, calm, he backs off. Hmm. Long licks again, brings in a finger to massage a bit. Licks from the bottom to the top. The audience is cooing. He has them. They want release. He acts like he's going to give it to you. Takes you right to the edge. The audience's backs arched, ready to come. Backs off pinching the nipples just so, his head bobbing up to say, you like? The audience shifts around, needing release. He builds again. The pressure at a near boiling point. Each stroke and moment a hypersensitive place. Two fingers to the sweet spot. The audience is there. Right there at that point. Suddenly, He's relentless, taking the audience through a rampage of orgasms. Ooh, trying to get away, trying to escape. Back, 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 but he has you. He's never going to let you forget this moment. The audience was electric. Frenetically 
frothing. Guillermo hears them begging no more when he decides to stop for a moment. There is that relaxed calm. Hmm. The audience relaxes. Labored breathing. <laughs> a sated smile. When suddenly the relentless bastard is at it again! Oh. <laughs> you begin laughing, trying to push him away, but no! More pleasure, more joy, more fun. <laughs> you can't handle it. You start giggling <laughs> and screaming! <laughs> and it goes like this for quite some time. Till at the end, the credits roll. The theater lights come up. You look at the screen. And you realize you want that tongue again. You want that feeling again. And you watch it again and again. Because damn, he respects the clit. Okay, maybe I take the metaphor too far, maybe, but I had two girls around me. Patch black and blued my right forearm with slaps and rabbit punches as though Guillermo was pounding the short hairs and saffron, not Vegas, gripping my shoulder from behind like frickin' Spock, leaning up to my ear to say, you didn't tell me this was pornography. To which I grab her hand, sniff her fingers, and said, mm, Your fingers are wet. Enjoy. <laughs> now, you might feel all of this is inappropriate behavior on my part, but folks, <laughs> at the Q&A afterwards, the second question came from a woman on the front row that asked, Del Toro, could you comment on the vaginal influence of the Reapers? <laughs> Guillermo looked like the wet chin thigh splitter that he is, and said, you have to understand, makeup artists, they never get any pussy. So they're always creating it. <laughs> exactly! Now, lest you think this film is merely pornographic and you seemingly are living in the delusion that that is a bad thing, it is not. Guillermo likes to pretend this movie is just there to make you go, whoa, but only a blind man can't see Guillermo at work here. My God, folks, having read Guillermo's Hellboy script, it is 100% Guillermo del Toro. And folks, as cool as Blade 2 is, Blade 2 was a teaser. It was just pussy licking. Hellboy is deep dicking. Blade has subtle romance, platonic bonds, machismo, posturing, and just an insane amount of ass kicking. I hope Sam Raimi can top this with Spider-Man, but can Tobey Maguire be more cool than Wesley Snipes? Does that Green Goblin costume allow for the actor to perform and improv and connect with his audience the way that Perlman does here? Or, or the Reapers. Then there is the fact that this is 100% R-rated, unapologetically. Hope you enjoy Guillermo del Toro's tongue. I mean, <laughs> Blade 2. You'll be back for seconds.
Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace.com. Purchase your domain name, schedule posts, and get detailed traffic overviews. Go to squarespace.com slash mega64 to save 10% on your purchase. Thank you. Good night.